James Curl from Wienerville is here. And by the way, Ursula said thank you for lunch with the hot dog that they have over there. So, all right, this is not your ordinary hot dog. Definitely not. First of all, this thing's a huge hot dog. How much is, how big is this? Quarter pound. Wow, all right. And then you have different kind of uh, varieties from all around the world, basically. What are we making first of all? So first one you're gonna make here is the Colombian dog. All right. so this is a very common one in Miami and obviously Colombia. So what's going on here? So you're gonna hit it first with the uh, garlic aioli. Mm -hmm. Then you go on with the pink sauce. Okay. Then you're gonna hit it with a little pineapple sauce. Pineapple sauce, interesting. Okay, just right across like that. Yep, okay. and then you top it off with some uh, shoestring potatoes. Interesting combination on there. And a lot of people think of hot dogs as just, you know, the, the classic American food, but you said they're popular all around the world and that's where these different flavors come in, right? Yeah, I mean, pretty much every state, every country's got some kind of a hot dog that they've kind of made their own. So it's not just an American thing anymore. Oh, wow. When you said the pineapple, I would have thought, mm, but that mixed with all the other flavors in there. It definitely gels very well. It's different, but it's good. As I try and talk with my mouth full, which one's next? So next you're going to do a uh, New England hot dog. So uh, that one has the uh, Greek chili, which is one that uh, has a lot of ingredients and I cook it for nine hours. And if you have never had, because I grew up eating this on Coney Islands up in Detroit and then from the Boston area, this is not like any chili you've had around here. It's got how many different spices in it? 16. Wow. Yeah, it is good. And then onion on there. Right? Mm -hmm. Then you hit it with a little mustard. A little mustard on top, just like that. And that's just a little slice of heaven. So where did you come up and where'd you find all the different uh, flavor combinations for all these dogs? So uh, my dad's from Worcester, Massachusetts. So up there, you know, this is kind of how they standard make their dogs. And uh, so I got a recipe from my aunt up there to make the chili. Um, mm. Other things, it's kind of just stuff we picked up in our travels, especially like our two different Mexican style dogs. So. What are those? So we've got the Mexican dog, which is this one up here that I've already made. Mm -hmm. And then the asada dog is the next one that I'm going to make over here, which is our most popular. Okay. All right. What's, what goes with that? I know you need a little bit of the mustard and you need some of the onion on there as well. Yes, sir. So you're going to do mayo, mustard, and ketchup on this one. Okay. And, and you this hit is it with... just a side business for you, right? Yes. Yes. Actually, I'm a uh, primary care physician assistant. And I work in downtown San Antonio. And your wife is an architect? Yes, and a professional singer. She and a professional says that. singer. And he's a newlywed. How many weeks now? Three weeks. Three weeks? Yep. So this is kind of his honeymoon to be on SA Live. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a shot of his beautiful wife. Wave to, to the camera right there. Uh, and you met Astro out in one day and then... Yeah, uh, we met at a Mark Anthony concert with some mutual friends and then... Uh, Asked her out in one day, and then um, asked her to be my girlfriend a week later. He doesn't waste time, does he? Anyway. Well, congratulations. Okay, so get on with the asada dog so there. So after you hit it with the mayo mustard ketchup, then you come back with the uh, carne asada, mm -hmm. which I've made up here. Okay. Then after that, you're going to go with the onion. Ah, love onions on hot dogs. Got to have it. And... What, what else to top it and off? And then oh. after that, you put the cilantro on top. Okay. Well, of course, it's got to have cilantro. Oh, my Definitely. goodness gracious. No wonder that's the most popular dog on there. So, <laughs> And some of the other dogs that, that he has here, I mean, some of the classics, you got a Chicago dog right there, the New York dog. That was one of the Mexican dogs. And then over here, you're going to have some fries on the side, too, Definitely. right? That's the weenie fries right there. And those are really good. That's what I've been, what I've been uh, snacking on here. So, all right, we were talking about the Wemby dog, which is going to be coming out, uh, what, later next week? Yes, we'll have so, it next weekend for the uh, Fourth of July celebrations. And you said a, a classic kind of Parisian street dog. What's yes. that old? So it's going to be on a uh, toasted French baguette, uh, locally sourced, obviously. And mm -hmm. then uh, it'll have uh, Dijon mustard, uh, melted Gruyere cheese, and then uh, pickle slices. Have you contacted Wemby that you're going to have a dog named after him yet? I have not, but that's a pretty good idea. Hey, why not? Okay. Hey, I'm a big Spurs fan, so. Okay, and then you got a big deal coming up too, right? Yes, if you uh, follow us on Instagram and then uh, like our SA Live post that we're going to do today, um, put a comment and then uh, we'll give you 20% off of your next food order. Okay, and then where can folks find your food truck? Typically, uh, you can find us in Southtown. Uh, Fourth of July, we'll be in Fair Oaks Ranch. Uh, at a big event up there. We'll be at Bergheim Meat Market on Saturday and we'll be at the Mission Marquee on Saturday night. Okay, all beef hot dogs, they are absolutely fantastic. Well, once again, Try some of these hot dogs. They're 
wonderful and you've never had, like I said, chili like this, this Greek style chili in there. But if you'd like more information on the Wienerville dogs, of course, go to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.